Hey what's up guys? Today I'll show you a science fiction thriller film, Awake. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. Awake is an apocalyptic science fiction thriller film. It gained its popularity worldwide for it features a sleep deprivation pandemic, which the scientists are dying to figure out to save humanity. Many critics think that the movie has great cinematography and is brilliant, for it created a non-stop anxiety from the beginning until the end. It is relatable to our current situation, wherein we are facing an illness that even doctors cannot fathom. The film is about a single mother of two, who struggled to find the cure for the disease to save her family. It features how a broken family reunited because of love and struggled through the disaster in joint efforts. Jill Adams is currently working in a local college as a security guard. She steals drugs in the research center of the school, and sells them illegally. She used to work in the army, and is recovering from addiction. After her shift, she picks up her children Matilda and Noah, at their grandmother's house. Her youngest daughter Matilda, excitedly greets her while her eldest son, Noah, looks frustrated, and doesn't want to be with her. The grandmother Doris, asks Jill to bring the kids home at 7 p.m. Jill tries to ask her mother if the kids can stay with her overnight, but Doris refuses and invites her daughter to join them at church. Jill says that she will think about it. While in the car, Jill asks her children what they are up to. Matilda engages in a conversation with her mother, but Noah seems distant, and tells his mother that she doesn't need to pretend that she likes to bond with them. However, the car suddenly loses power. Another car hits them, and they fall into the lake. They try to get out of the car, but unfortunately, Matilda drowns. Thankfully, a police officer is nearby and revives her. The police officer tells them that every single thing that uses electricity is inoperable, and that includes cars, so the ambulance cannot rescue them. He tells them that there is a nearby hospital which is four blocks away, and Jill needs to go there because she needs stitches. When they arrive at the hospital, they are surprised to find out that the patients, who were in a coma for a long time, have awoken. People are confused about what's going on. Jill and her children return to their grandmother's home. All of them cannot sleep aside from Matilda. Jill still goes to work by bicycle, even if her mother doesn't allow her. She is surprised to see people partying non-stop. Her client asks her for more drugs, because people are dying to have them enjoy the feeling of not being able to sleep. She goes to school and steals drugs. However, the military catch her red-handed, but she is saved by the psychiatrist, Dr. Murphy who helps her to get the job despite her records of addiction. Jill is confused about what's going on, because soldiers are everywhere. Dr. Murphy explains to her that it appears that people are not able to sleep, including them. Because of that, all of them will suffer from the symptoms of sleep deprivation, if they will not be able to fix it in a timely manner. She asks Jill to join her in the hub, wherein they are looking for solutions to resolve the problem. Jill refuses so, she just gives the location of the hub to their colleague, and asks to bring Lori and her children there. The colleague explains to Jill the things that might happen, if people are not able to sleep for a long time, it will be total chaos. The colleague informs Jill that they are examining an old woman in the hub who can sleep. They are hoping to find the cure to resolve the problem, and to save the people. Jill shares that her daughter, Matilda, can also sleep. Her colleague is very surprised upon hearing that. Jill hurriedly rides the bike, and goes home to find her children, Noah says that her sister and grandmother are at church. The pastor talks to Matilda, and tells the story of his past life and how he became a pastor. It seems like he is telling Matilda to be a sacrifice to save other people's lives. All of the people at church know that Matilda is the only one that can sleep. While Jill and her Noah are preparing to leave the house to go to Matilda, her colleague enters the house and asks if Matilda can sleep. He tries to lie, but Noah clearly states that his sister can sleep. The colleague tells them that they need to bring Matilda to Dr. Murphy, because she can be the key to resolving this chaos. They hurriedly go to church to look for Matilda. On their way to church, they see people fighting and screaming. It is a total disaster. The people at church think that they need to sacrifice Matilda, just like how God sacrificed Jesus to save humanity. The pastor tries to stop the people. Jill enters the church and tries to get her daughter, but the people refuse. Jill's colleague tries to explain to the people that they need to get Matilda, so that they can examine her to find the cure. The people didn't believe him. The police officer shoots him to stop him from talking. Matilda runs with her grandmother. Jill tries to calm her son, Noah. Noah gets the address of the hub to the dead colleague of Jill. The people try to look for Matilda. Doris hides Matilda, and Jill finds her in a room. 
Noah gets the paper where the address of the hub was written to the dead colleague of Jill. Jill and his children run to the forest. They go out of the fence and look for a car. Noah convinces his mother to go to the hub to find the cure. He tells his mom that they'll be dead in a couple of days due to sleep deprivation, and Matilda will be alone. That's why they really need to go to the hub to ask for help. Jill finally agrees. Jill goes to the garage of Greg, one of his friends. She is surprised to see the dead body of Greg. There are two thieves in the shop that are looking for an old car with no electronics, because they know that the new car will not work. They are able to find an old car and drive away. Jill also finds a car, and picks up Noah and Matilda. While in the car, Jill tries to talk to her son, and builds a bond with him. Her son still refuses, and doesn't like to share anything with his mother. On the way to the hub, Jill sees the thieves in Greg's shop. They are both dead. Jill shares with Noah how she met the psychiatrist, Dr. Murphy, a sleep expert. She tells her son that she used to work with Dr. Murphy, and helped her in her rehab. She also mentions that in the hub, they kill people to examine them, and study sleep deprivation. They stop over in a library where they look for the map. Jill tries to teach her daughter the things that she needs to know, in order to protect herself when she's not around. Jill teaches her daughter how to use a gun. Matilda refuses to do that. Jill gets angry and loses her temper, so she fires the gun, forgetting that Noah is in the library as well. Noah and Jill try to study the map, and find the way to the hub while Matilda goes to the car. While checking the map, a prisoner steals the car with Matilda inside. There are also other prisoners that threaten Noah and Jill, but fortunately, the prisoner Dodge, who steals their car, saves them from other prisoners. They look for gas and things that they might use on their trip on the way to the hub. Jill teaches Matilda how to drive, because she knows that sooner or later, they will lose their energy due to sleep deprivation, and Matilda will be left alone. On the way to the hub, people who lost their mind attack them, but they are able to escape. They finally reach the hub. Dodge tells Jill that he would like to help and stick with them. But Jill refuses and tells him to leave and bring the car. Jill and the kids bid farewell to Dodge. Jill leaves the kids in an abandoned house with enough food that will last for a week. She asks her children to hide in there while she is away, and begs them not to follow her. She goes to the hub first to see what's going on, and then to check if it is safe for her children. On the way to the hub, Jill sees military officers that are injecting meds to keep them awake. They all look tired and exhausted due to lack of sleep. Jill sneaks into the hub, and pretends to be a doctor by wearing a doctor's robe. She sees a doctor, and asks the whereabouts of the woman who can sleep. Jill goes to the room of the old woman who can sleep. The old woman is in very ill condition. The doctors are experimenting on her by getting blood samples, hoping to find the cure for the disease. The old woman tells Jill that she would like to get out of that place. Jill promises the woman that she will help her to escape, but she should help her daughter live in the new world, because all of them will die due to sleep deprivation, excluding the two of them because they both can sleep. The old woman thinks that she cannot help Jill, because she is the one who needs help instead, and she should have died months ago. Dr. Murphy suddenly enters the room of the old woman. She is very surprised to see Jill. Jill tells her that she came to offer her help. Dr. Murphy asks if Jill is going there with Brian and her family. But Jill pretends that she doesn't know what happened to Brian, and says that she thought that Brian and, and Dr. Murphy's family are already there in the hub. Jill asks Dr. Murphy if they have already found the cure. But Dr. Murphy sadly answers that they don't have the answer yet, and all of them might die in a couple of days. Jill goes out of the center with a frown on her face, after knowing that there is still no cure. She's surprised to see a flare, and finds out that Dodge and her children followed her. The military interrogates them. Dodge keeps on telling the military that they are there to help. They get down on their knees, and Matilda tearfully confesses that she can sleep. The next morning, Matilda asks the doctor how she can help the people sleep. The doctor answers her that they need to find out what makes her special. Matilda sees an ape that is also being experimented on by the doctors. The ape cannot sleep as well, even when given anesthetic gas. Dr. Murphy enters the room and introduces herself to Matilda that she is her mother's friend. They give Matilda anesthetic gas to check if she can sleep. The doctors are amazed to see that Matilda can actually sleep. Dr. Murphy enters the room where Jill is handcuffed and experiencing delirium. Dr. Murphy tells Jill that she is disappointed in her, for she didn't tell her that Matilda can sleep. Jill asks Dr. Murphy to let her daughter go. But the doctor refuses, because she thinks that Matilda has the solution to save humanity from extinction due to sleep deprivation. Dodge is in the other room. 
The doctor asks if he is an electrician because they need manpower in the hub. The doctor gives him stimulants to keep going. Matilda notices that the old woman who can sleep has already stopped breathing. The doctors try to revive her. Matilda asks the doctor to stop because they are hurting the old woman, but they are persistent in reviving her. Unfortunately, the old woman died. Dr. Murphy tells the doctor to get Noah so they can also examine him to check if his brain is different from his sister's. Jill hallucinates that Noah is trying to kill her. The soldier brings Noah out of the room. The soldier is about to shoot Noah, but Dodge saves him. Jill escapes from the room and looks for her children. The soldiers already lose their control due to sleep deprivation. They shoot everyone they see. Matilda is very scared. The doctor doesn't like what Dr. Murphy is doing. He injects the meds into Dr. Murphy, but he doesn't remove the air on the needle intentionally, which causes her death. Matilda and Jill are both panning. They go upstairs to look for Noah. Matilda sees Noah who is hallucinating. Noah cuts the wire and electrocutes himself. Jill and Matilda try to revive Noah by using a defibrillator, but to no avail. The next morning Noah suddenly wakes up. Jill and Matilda are both surprised to see that Noah is alive. Jill hugs her children. Suddenly a soldier points a gun at them and asks who they are. The soldier lets them go without finding anything suspicious from them. Jill is already weak and exhausted. Upon seeing his mother's condition, Noah feels guilty. He tells his mother that she was right about not coming to the hub, and that he knows that his mother loves them so much and just wants the best for them. Noah asks her mother to hold on to her dear life because they need her. Matilda gets a stretcher. When she is about to go out, the stretcher is stuck. She checks it and finds the badge of the police officer who saved her life when she drowned in the lake. She looks at the defibrillator that they used to save Noah. Matilda then realizes why she and Noah can now sleep. It is because both of them have just experienced a temporary death. After realizing that, Matilda and Noah rush their mother to the lake and drown her immediately, hoping that what happened to them will also happen to the mother. Luckily, they revive Jill, and finally, she awakens. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your fun for today.